we want to multiply the following fractions. Multiplying fractions is a pretty straightforward process. We multiply the numerators together, and then we multiply the denominators together. But it's important that our answer is in simplest form, and it's normally recommended that we simplify before we multiply, rather than after. So to simplify, we want to determine any common factors between any numerator and any denominator. And a nice way to do this is to write every numerator and denominator in prime factored form. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as, well, two and three are both prime numbers, but the prime factorization of six would be two times three, and seven is also a prime number. So when it's in this form, it's easy to see that we have a common factor of three between the numerator and denominator here and here, which simplify to one. Now when we multiply, our answer will already be in simplified form. Our answer will already be in simplified form. So our numerator, we have two times two, that's four, and our denominator would be seven. So two-thirds times six-sevenths is equal to four-sevenths in simplest form. Now let's take a look at a second example that's a little bit more involved. So before we multiply the numerators and denominators together, we're going to try to simplify this. So we're going to write each numerator and denominator in prime factored form. So the prime factorization of 14 is two times seven. The prime factorization of 15 would be three times five. Seven is already a prime number. And for 36, we'd have two factors of two and two factors of three. So now let's simplify. Here we have a three over a three, and here we have a seven over a seven, so all of those simplify to one. Now let's go ahead and multiply. Our numerator is two times two times two times three, well that would be 24. And our denominator is five. So this is our product, and it is in simplest form but you'll notice that it is an improper fraction. So depending on your textbook and depending on your instructor, this may be the answer you're looking for, but let's review how we can convert this to a mixed number. Remember, a fraction bar means division. So as a division problem, this is 24 divided by five. So if we take 24 and divide by five, there are four fives in 24, leaving us with a remainder of four, which tells us that 24 fifths is equal to four is the whole number, and then we put our remainder over our divisor, so we have four and four-fifths. Both answers are correct. This is in fraction form, and this is a mixed number.